Right, so this is isometric 2A. Um, you'll see over here, I have given you three views of an object. A front view, a top view, and a left view. I know this because it is a third angle orthographic projection showing me that the left view is on the left-hand side of the front view. All right, so that would be my left view of it. Right, from this, I can deduce three very important pieces of information. The length, which I can get on my front view, and on my top view. You can see the length over here and the length over here. The height, which I can get on my front view and on my left view. And my breadth, which I can get on my top view and on my left view. Right, so, if I look at this, I can get length, breadth, and height off the front and the top. Or I can get length, breadth, and height from my left and front view. So I can theoretically give you only two of those views and you should be able to build the thing from it. Right. With that, I'm going to count the number of blocks over here. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks for the length. And one, two, three, four, five blocks for the height. And one, two, three, four blocks for the breadth of it. Right, knowing that, I can then get on and I can draw my little fish tank that I talked talk to you about. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks in length. One, two, three, four, five blocks in height. And one, two, three, four blocks in breadth. After I've done that, I can draw that little fish tank story very, very easily. Seven blocks. Oh dear, messed up over here, making it too short, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think, for you guys to be able to get it. Okay, you can see that I went off the page over there. Um, when you're doing it, make sure that you start a little bit lower down. Right, let's have a look. You can see over here that the base of this thing is only one block high, and you can see that in the front and the Left view. Why? Because I can see the height of the object. So, one block high, I can draw a nice solid line going across there. Can you see the base of it? And the base of it over here as well. I'm just going to, in construction lines, complete the base at the back. Why am I doing it in construction lines? Because I know that there is going to be something placed in here which is not going to allow me to see this full base. Can you see that idea? Right, okay. This over here, this part over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the information I'm seeing over here onto this front panel. All right. I know that this is not actually on the front panel, but It'll be easier for me to transfer that information to where it needs to be if I've got a reference point for it. All right, can you see I'm drawing in construction lines basically that shape onto this front panel? Okay, right, once I've got that, I'm now going to look at drawing what I'm seeing on this left side on this left-hand panel. And you see that idea? All right. Now, what is that telling me? That's telling me that this piece over here, it's not on the front, it is two blocks back. Can you see that idea? This thing is not sitting right on the front, it is sitting two blocks back. The left view is showing me that it's sitting two blocks back. And if I'm looking like that, it's also showing me that this thing is sitting one block in. So if I can join those two things up by drawing construction lines across from these corners over here. Okay, so I've got lines coming back 
How many blocks? Two blocks back. You can see that. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I can then actually draw that in as a solid line. Can you see how that has moved back two blocks? All right. It then goes back one block over here on my left view. So I can then draw one block back. That object and one block back over here. And you can start seeing that this object is starting to take shape in the correct position in a three-dimensional model. Right? Now I need to transfer this little TV screen thing. How many blocks back do you think that goes? Two blocks back. Okay, so we take it back. One, two from there. One, two from there. One, two from there. One, two from there. And I can now join that up Nice dark lines there. Everybody seeing that? Can you see how I've transferred that little <coughs> TV screen back the two blocks? All right, now, remember what I told you about having three lines coming out of each corner. If you look over here, I've got one line, two lines, which means that there needs to be a third line coming out of that corner, completing the back of this thing. I've got one line, two lines coming out of that corner, and that will need a third line going from there to there. Seeing it? All right. And if I look over here, I've got one line, two lines. Now you're going to have to think very carefully how thick is this piece of material? How thick is it? One block. So I can only go across one block over here. But now I've got this line hanging in the middle of nowhere, and it needs another two lines coming out of it. One going up, and one going across over here. And that's the completed drawing. Good luck.